Okay, this is Cloud3D. In this lesson, I want to explain a little about user interface. This is 2D pattern, and this, this is 2D window, and this is 3D window. First, you have to draw your pattern uh, here, and after that, you can swing them in a 3D window. Uh, you can swim in your pattern. We have a lots of tools that we have to use them in to drawing a pattern in a 2D window. And a lots of tools separated and organized here for <coughs> editing and creating uh, clothes in 3D window. Here we have 3D tree tab, the library tab. You can access the uh, gar garment avatars. For example, you can access any avatar that you want. <clears throat> you can access the fabric the, they have a real property fabric and so nice to act as real world you can access the material you can access the stage for rendering and we have a <clears throat> history tab and in the most interesting thing is modular uh, configurator with this modular configurator, you can uh, build or design your uh, clothes with no need to uh, draw in 2D pattern. And after that, you can bring back and edit them. It's very interesting. I've explained that to you, for you. Uh, in this part, we have the main workspace of the Clothes 3D. This is a simulation. If you want to uh, add a post to your avatar, you have to go to animation. This is a print layout for changing the colors and assigning to the different clothes. This is um, emulator that you can specify a real fabric from your uh, from the real world, and with the tools you can uh, specify them in the software. Here, here is a modular, I explained them here, it's a modular configurator. You can set your 3D model UV editor for um, export them to the another 3D program. And here is a review, I have to explain those. And we have a very mo most important uh, tabs here. This is a scene manager and any pattern or any tool, environment, light, material are uh, <clears throat> organized and grouped here. This is an uh, fabric properties. If you select the properties in this panel, its properties will be appear. Or if you select your pattern, we have a different properties appear here. You can assign any fabric from fabric to any pattern that you want. For example, this assign that fabric to that. As you can see, it's uh, appear here. This is for closet. Uh, the closet is here. You can uh, sign in to closet. I have to explain the closet. It's a, a cloud service for uh, the closure. You can render. You can share your ideas with others. Very interesting. And here is uh, the shop of the closure. And you can shop your garment avatars that uh, other artists created, and you can sh uh, purchase them. Uh, this uh, tab is for button and buttonhole, top stitch, all the top stitch that use in this design is listed here. Puckering, this is an interesting part, is mm, grading. You can uh, design small, medium, or large size of your uh, clothes and change them at any time that you want. It's very interesting. And this is a measure POM measure of uh, point of measurement. That's for about measure measurementing the distance between two points. It's very useful. And we have a uh, lots of menu that all of those tools are listed here. I explained the tools uh, in this order. And the last important thing here is a render. And as you can see, you can render via closet, but you can render. You can simply click and render and you have see the high quality render that. 
you can change the line, you can change the HDRR light, and, and a lot of, and lots of properties are here that I have to explain you one by one. We have a lot of interesting sitting uh, lesson and tutorial about this software. Stay tuned with us and thank you. Hello my friends, to continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us and hit the bell icon. And now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.